Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of the Son, through His glorious Holy New Covenant, through His glorious Holy Spirit. Peace and blessings to all the beloved ones out there, man, baptized in the Messiah for remission of sins, right, that were under the First Testament. So today, man, I'm going to be going in <clears throat> on Egypt, man. I'm going in on Egypt, and we're going to uh, be dealing with uh, Egypt, which was one of the main empires uh, on Earth, basically, man. Okay? Yeah, so today, man, I'm going into Egypt, and I'm going to be going into one of their gods um, that was in Egypt, mainly the Kushites, right? Which we know... Uh, that was a part of the ancient um, Babylonian Empire as well, because Nimrod was a Kushite, all right? But that's here or there. I'm going into one of the Egyptian gods today, and I'm going to uh, bring out some information on him in a few slides and a couple of uh, um, uh, depictions in their land and their temples, right? Dealing with... Uh, an Egyptian god today, right? To bring out a little information on it, um, which um, I'm gonna, uh, you know, who 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 is this guy? Who is this Egyptian guy I'm about to bring out? Is this the creator of heaven and earth? Who is he? Is he an angel? Is he the creator? Is he the one that gives you light? So today, man, I'm going into an Egyptian god, which his name is um, Apodimok, right? Apodimok, right? Apodimok. That's who I'll be going into today. Apodimok, right? Which I was saying, who is Apodimok, right? And um, we're going to read some information on him and, um, you know, see who he compares to, right? using uh the scriptures <clears throat> right to uh discern uh what this guy represents right so his name is apodimok apodimok or apodimok was a lion headed warrior god so that's one sign of who this guy is he's a lion headed warrior God. So Apodamak is compared to a lion. Worship by the Marotic peoples inhabiting Nuabia, right? When it says uh, Marotic peoples, that's referring to the kingdom of Kush, which was an ancient kingdom in Nuabia centered along the Nile Valley and was now northern Sudan and southern Egypt. Okay, so he was a god over the Kushite Empire, right? Inhabiting Nuabia. So we know off top, this is not the god of Israel. This is the god of the Kushite. So let's keep going. In the temple of Nequa built by the rulers of Moro, Apatamak was depicted as a three-headed uh, Leonine God, right? Meaning he's a uh, a God with a uh, that resembles a man in a lion. See that? He resembles a, a a man type lion God, right? With four arms and a snake with a lion head. So he's often depicted as a, a lion, right? With a humanoid figure. Or he's also depicted as a snake with a snake body with a lion head. All right. Which we know, in this, according to the scriptures, who is compared to a snake and who also is compared to a lion. And is also a god. Right. The spiritual demon Satan, man. All right. Who else could this be? However, he is usually depicted as a man with a lion head. Apatamak was considered the war god of Kush, right? Which, um, you know, I don't acknowledge myself as a Kushite. I acknowledge myself as a son of God, a child 
of Jacob, children of Israel. I identify with the children of Israel, not a Cushite. Right? A Potomac was considered the war god of Cush, which because Cush, Nimrod was a Cushite. And I know I ain't, I ain't with none of that Nimrod stuff. A lot of Jake's about to get ready to celebrate Nimrod on the 25th. All right? We don't, we don't deal with him. The Cushites believe that a Potomac brought victories, right? People believing that their god, Satan, is the strongest god. Right? The Kushites believe that Apatamach brought victories to their armies and defeated their enemies. When Kushite pharaohs carried out military campaigns, they often claimed the support and companionship of Apatamach. Right? So they were saying that they were winning their battles through this lion god, Apatamach. Right? Now, who is controlling all the empires on the earth. Let's get a, a scripture in the New Testament, man. Okay? Because they, these uh, Kushites believe that uh, they were supported by a Potomac, their, their god, the lion god. Right? So we're going to get Matthew chapter 4, verse uh, Matthew 4 and 8. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world. So Satan is showing the Messiah all the kingdoms on the world, showing that he has power over all these kingdoms on the world. Right? Showeth him all the kingdoms of the world. So Satan is controlling all these different empires, the Babylonian Empire, the Egyptian Empire, the Assyrian Empire, the uh, Persian Me Empire. The, uh, the Greek Empire, the Roman Empire, right? He's the one that's in control of all these kingdoms of the world. But scripture says, and uh, the God of this world, in whom have deceived the minds of those that don't believe, man. The spiritual demon Satan, the devil, right? The uh, uh, daimonion, right? The word devil means daimonion. Daimonion is a god. That's what daimonia, a demon, demon mean God. Let's get that. Let's get that in the, uh, in the Hebrew, I mean in the Greek, about demon meaning God, right? The devil, because it says, again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them, right? He's showing them all these different temples, uh, the depictions of, of, of Satan all over the world on all these different carvings of, of these different temples and kingdoms, right? He's showing them all the glory of the world, right? He's showing him Satan's kingdom, man. Satan is showing Yahweh Shai his kingdom, right? Because the spiritual demon has a kingdom, man, and it's on earth, and it's all these different empires, right? Babylon, Egypt, Persia, they all worship the same God, man. In different ways. It says again. The devil takes him up into an exceeding high mountain. And shows him all the kingdoms of the world. And the glory of them. Right. So. Um, Apatomach was the god of the Kushites. Okay. And we know clearly. He's compared to. Uh, Satan according to the scriptures. Right. And he said unto him. All these all these things will I give thee if thou will fall down and worship me. Right? Then said the Messiah, I was shy unto him, get thee hence, say, for it's written, thou shalt only worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. So Yahweh shy, he served Yahweh. He wasn't no damn idol, man. That's folly. Yahweh shy didn't follow Satan in Egypt, a Potomac. Okay? So uh, we clearly see that uh, Potomac was a uh, was a uh, believed that to bring victories to the armies and defeated their enemies because Satan was controlling these different kingdoms according to Matthew four and eight, right? When the Kushite pharaohs carried out military campaigns, they often can claimed the support and companionship of Potomac. So they were saying that their God was the one. 
causing them to win battles, right? The Gentiles, talking about they got causing them to win. Just like Israel, when we win battles, we would give glory to our God, the Heavenly Father, Y'all watching, Y'all shot, in the name of the Son, right? So that's what a Potomac represents. Uh, he represents Satan, man. He represents uh, Babylon and Egypt, bro. This is a Potomac, right? It says uh, a Potomac or a Potomac was a lion-headed warrior god worshipped by the Meretic peoples. Now, it said that a Potomac is a god. I want to get the word for devil. Okay, so the Strong's word for devils is uh, right here. Strong's G, 1140, Daimonion, Daimonion. Right, a Daimonion, which is the divine power. Deity, right? So one, one of the definitions is divine power and deity, which uh, that's what Apatomach was doing. He was giving them divine power to what? Um, bring victory to the armies and defeat their enemies, man. Right? So, this is from uh, Strong's G1140, which is uh, Daimonion, right? Strong's G1140, Daimonion. Daimonion. Right, which it says the divine power, deity, right, which um, a Potomac is a deity, divinity, a spirit, a being inferior to God, superior to man, right? Daimonion or Apatomach. Evil spirits or the messengers and ministers of the devil. It says devil 59 times and then one time is used as God. Daimonion, right? A demonic being. That's what a, a Daimonion is. What? A demonic being by extension, a deity, devil, God, right? So this is a, a demonic ruler, a demonic God, right? A die. Right, so a Potomac, right, so a Potomac would be a daimonion, a devil, a god, right, or a demon, right, which the scriptures tell you that the Gentiles sacrificed to devils. So a Potomac was a lion-headed warrior god. We just read that other word, daimonion, means devil and god, right, which he was a, was a lion-headed warrior god. Right, worshipped by the Marotic peoples and have in Nuabia, which meaning these were Cushites, right? The ancient uh, symbol of Babylon was um, a lion with wings, right? Which Apatomach, he's depicted as a lion with wings, right? Just like it says in Daniel, which represents the uh, empire of Babylon as well as uh, Egypt, because Egypt and Babylon were both ruled by Cushites, okay? So, um, this is going to be um, Daniel chapter uh, 7, that's where I'm looking for. Daniel chapter 7, right? Which uh, speaks about uh, Apatomach. <clears throat> Daniel chapter 7, verse 1, in the first year of Belshazzar, king of Babylon, Daniel, had a dream and vision upon his head, upon his bed, and uh, wrote the dream and told the sum of the matters. Daniel spake and said, I saw my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of heaven drove upon the great sea, which the four uh, winds represents the four angels, right? Which uh, Apatomach is uh, uh, depicted as uh, one of these uh, great winds, which uh, we know. The spiritual demon Satan is also referred to as a prince of the power of air, according to um, Ephesians, right? And the four uh, beasts um, came up from the sea, right? Which also represents them coming out of hell because uh, sea represents the abyss. Remember, the dead is coming out of the sea in Revelation, as well as the demons. And four great beasts came up from the sea, diverse one from another, right? Which this... Uh, Apatomach represents Babylon, y'all. He rep Satan represents Babylon. Okay, so this depiction that they're given in uh, Daniel 7 and 4, that's the depiction of an uh, angel that represents Babylon, the, uh, the demon or the daimonion over Babylon in Egypt. <clears throat> because Apatomach is the same uh, 
pretty much the same spirit and demon that been worshipped in Babylon. The lion with the um wings like an uh a eagle, man. Right? Daniel chapter 7, verse 1. The first was like a lion. Remember, Apatamoth was a lion-headed warrior god. <clears throat> Worshipped by the Meretic peoples inhabiting Nuabia, meaning Cushites. Right? The first was like a lion. Daniel 7 and 4. The first was like a lion and had eagle's wings. That's exactly what Apatamoth has. He has the eagle, eagle's wings. And I beheld to the wings thereof were plucked off. Right? Representing Satan's kingdom falling. Right? And it was lifted up from the earth and made to stand upon upon the feet as a man. And that's why they have the depictions of a Potomac without wings standing on his feet like a man. Right? Because um, <clears throat> Satan in the scriptures is, is compared to a lion and he's also compared to an eagle. Because those are angels, cherubim. The cherubims have... Um, Four likenesses, man. One like a human, right? I mean, they have different transformations. One like a, a lion, one like a, a calf, one like a, a eagle, right? What is the man, lion, calf, and the eagle, man? These are, that's what you see in all these uh, ancient Egypt, man. Depictions of cherubims. Just like in ancient Babylon, right? The first was like a lion and had eagle's wings. <clears throat> this is clearly talking about a potomac. That has, uh, that's like a lion, right? Because it says he was a Leonine god, which means a lion that's a lion like man, right? And he also has wings, they have him with wings. It says, um, so Daniel 7 and 4 the first was like a lion and had eagle's wings, and I beheld to the wings thereof were plucked, and it was lifted from the earth and made to stand upon the feet as a man, and a man's heart was given to it. Right, so uh, we know that represents Babylon, but it's not just not as well just Babylon, but also Egypt, because Egypt is a part of Babylon, right? They were both ruled by Cushites, right? A Potomac is a is a Cushite god, which is goes right with Babylon. See that? So it says a Potomac uh, was a lion headed warrior god, right? <clears throat> Worship. By uh, Marotic peoples inhabiting Nuabia in the temple of Nequab built by the rulers of Moro, a Potomac was depicted as a three-headed lion, lion, uh, lionine god, meaning he, uh, pretty much, a human humanoid lion. That's why it's referred to as beast with four arms. These are angels, <clears throat> and a snake, uh, and as a snake with a lion head. Now, who's the, what, what, who's referred to as the serpent, man? Let's get that. That's your boy. Okay? That is your boy. <laughs> your boy. Revelations uh, 20 and 2. And he laid hold on a dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan. So Satan's, one of Satan's sign, symbols is a serpent, man. Which the, the uh, Apotomach is depicted as a snake with a lion head. Because <clears throat> these are symbols of satan right which represents demonic wisdom daimonion wisdom of a, a demonic god but i fear at least by any means as the serpent beguiled eve through their his subtility so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that's in christ so we see the serpent is also referred to as satan in the new covenant and um apotomach was depicted as a snake with a lion head now let's also get another verse to show that uh, Satan is compared to a lion. Okay, it says that uh, your adversary, the devil. This is um. <clears throat> we have a uh, Revelation. Um, Revel. Uh, no, no, stop it. Uh, First Peter five and eight. Be sober. Be di be vigilant because your adversary, the devil. As a roaring lion. So Satan is compared to a roaring lion. 1 Peter 5 and 8. Just like Apotomach was a lion-headed warrior god worshipped by the Cushites. Right? And he's depicted as a lion with a snake body and a lion head. And he's also depicted as a lion with angel, uh, with uh, with um, 
eagle wings, like Daniel 7 say, and he's also uh, <clears throat> depicted as a lion, uh, a lionine god, meaning he, he's half human, half lion. Just like you read about the cherubims in Ezekiel, right? So uh, that's, that's a, a representation of, of Satan, man, the serpent and the lion. Let's get a uh, First Peter five five and eight again. Be sober and vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So uh, <clears throat> it's crystal clear, Satan is compared to a uh, a lion and a serpent, just like a potomac is compared to a lion and a serpent, right? So uh, that's what it is, because um, a lot of people don't know. Um, that uh, a lot of angels are compared to lions as well. But y'all get a verse for that in one second. If I can. One second, beloved one. Um, yeah, yeah, but the, um, the devil is compared to a lion and, and a serpent, man. <clears throat> one second. Which um, I just showed that in um, Revelation, Satan is called a serpent. And in First Peter, he's compared to a lion. Just like a pot of mock is uh, compared to a serpent and a lion. Let's read it again. It says, a pot of mock, or a pot of mock was a lion-headed warrior god worshipped by the Marotic peoples inhabiting Nuabia, Cushites. In the temple of Nequa built by the rulers of Moro, a pot of mock was depicted as a three-headed lion-eyed god with four arms and as a snake with a lion head. However, he is usually depicted as a man with a lion head. <clears throat> right? A pot of mock, right? Remember the scripture says uh, that uh, <laughs> Satan transformeth himself. He has transformation. A pot of mock was considered the war god of Cush. The Cushites uh, believed that a pot of mock brought victory to their armies and defeated their enemies. And Cushite pharaohs carried out military campaigns. They often claimed the support and companionship of a Potomac. So he's depicted as a three-headed lion god with four arms and as a snake with a lion head. However, he is usually depicted as a man with a lion head. And he also has uh, depictions of him as a lion with eagle's wings, just like uh, the book of Daniel speaks about, which uh, Satan was over that kingdom, just like it says in the New Testament. So, uh, that's what it is, man. You know, a Potomac represents the serpent and that demonic lion. <laughs> All right, that anti-lion. So uh, peace and blessings. Shalom, Makah.